Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel. You're watching the Neo Limix introduction pack. Basic training is going quite well. I think we're well on our way to being certified Neo Lim Mixers. And today we're starting with lab workout. Yeah! Workout now! <laughs> 20 limbs, 19 to be saved. So only one is going to die. We got some one-way walls and some pickups. Uh, anything to be explained in this one? If a jumping limbing is right under a ceiling, you can assign a shimmier to him so that he grabs the ceiling and transitions into a shimmier. If a jumping limbing is right under a ceiling. Okay. Also, if a jumper happens to jump into a one-way field, he will immediately turn around but still finish his jump. Okay, so this one's going to be about what we can do with jumpers. If a jumping limbing is right under a ceiling, you can assign a shimmier to him. Okay, let's see. So let's, let's figure this out then. So we got... How do we want to do this? We got to keep everybody contained somehow. We're going to do that with maybe a stoner and a stacker. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get this going. Alright, so limbing number one is going to... How do we want to how do we want to go about this? So the one-way field is over here, so we're gonna be Huh. Okay. How are we gonna get around then? Maybe we want to uh Maybe we wanna go. Hmm. We wanna go to the left somehow. Get them up into here. Two builders. Oh boy, okay, so I have a lot to sort. This might be one that's best as a reverse engineering type of situation. So you come down here, there's going to be a platformer, which maybe goes into here, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and, how many jumpers do we have? Ten? Okay. So I think I'm good to go ahead and put a stack here is this a trap right here actually no it's just it's just decoration okay oh i wanted i actually wanted that last limbing that third limbing to be the stoner the trap that keeps them all in okay so what we're gonna do now okay i think anyway uh let's go ahead and jump yep jumps into there and we can shim okay so we have to jump to shimmy okay that's a really quick that's a really quick operation wait okay there we go yeah wow that is that takes some doing actually oh dang it um well that was pointless uh maybe i should put that a little farther ahead then actually um Wait, is there any reason to have him do that if I'm doing that? Which which now makes me think that's incorrect. So, well, maybe not because he's at least going to get over it. So we need to save as many limbings as we can. So there is some merit in doing it this way. So let's go ahead and I think, okay. Okay, that didn't go well at all. So let's back it up a little. Um, jump to maybe, no, not from there. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty tricky place to put that, actually. Maybe I should just back it up entirely even farther. Okay, so yeah, the third one out needs to be the stoner. I'm having a little bit of trouble with this one, I'm not gonna lie, it's... Tough to figure out how to start this one, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and put it way out here, actually. Just to make sure that shimmy trick works. Okay, and then... There we go. Alright, that should get him going that way. And then just somebody can jump out to the left. That just, I think all that's meant to do is preserve his life. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over here. And then I'm going to do, I cannot build from 
here. Let's see. If I build... Okay, if I mine from, like... Okay, if I build from here... We can definitely get two bridges going that way, but... Maybe the best way to get them to the exit is going to be to... Two bridges up to, like, here to a mined tunnel and then platform. So, I may have trapped them unnecessarily. Well, let's just kind of work it out for now. I'm, I'm having a bit of a sticky amount of trouble here. So, we go up the way here. Trans transition to shimmying. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a problem because I only have two shimmiers, I think. Oh, wait, no. I can just jump from here to here. There we go. Okay, yeah. So, two shimmiers for getting over the thing here. So, now... Wow, that is... That's pretty finicky. That actually is... Uh... Quite a spot of bother, but... Okay, so... And then... Bam, bam! There we go. So now... I think what we want to do... Yeah, I think there's a big problem here. I should have used... Should I have used a jumper and a shimmier here? I should have just probably... I, I think I wasted a... Sh okay, I need to back up. I think I wasted a shimmier here. So let's back it way up. All you have to do is jump. Actually, let's put you even farther out. Okay. Stacker goes even farther out now. So that he can jump over... He can jump over it twice. He just jumps into the field and then bop. Okay. So yeah, I should use a shimmier jumper combo here. Alright. Alright. There we go. Yeah, that doesn't waste my builders now. Because I have to use them to get out of... Get them out of here. Aha! Very, very good. Okay. Alright, so do... No, no, that's too... That's too quick. Let's do as before. Now we want to move on to shimming over the way here. There we go. Second burst, same as the first. So, take a hop. There you go. Very nice. And so you get a platformer so that they have something to... Yeah, there we go. Alright, I get it. I see. I gotcha. So now he bonks into here. Where is the best spot to mine from now? That's going to be, I think, from about... Probably the best place, I would say, is going to be here. Okay, that's going to be somewhat of a problem, I think. Because that's going to get a second women kill, unless he also... No, he won't go over the stoner. He won't go... I don't think he will, anyway. Gosh, I sure hope not. Okay, so... Alright, so all I need to do is get up into that. I don't think he will climb over the stone. No, good. Okay, so now he also needs to be the one to do the building. In order to preserve his own life. Okay, so now... Okay, this is going to be the sticky business. Okay, yeah, that's that's a bit of a problematic build. Maybe what I want to do... Well, now I can back it way up now that I know that... Okay. Now that I know he's not going to climb over the stoner. No, stop it. Get your act together, sir. Alright, so... We want to make it so that the best place to... We want to take out a big chunk right here. Very nice. Um, and then... Maybe back up a few steps. Boy, I hope that... I hope that works out. That's... No, that doesn't work out. Dang, nabbit. Okay. Boy, that is a... Wow, that's a... That's a tricky place to figure out where to mine from. There's lots of opportunities for hitting the head. Alright, so we don't want to go straight out to the end of the tunnel. 
Maybe more like right here. Boy, that requires some precision. You don't have a lot of room to work with it. Maybe going down onto the little this, the little slime gooplet. Let's try, let's try from here. Okay, so we go from here. Yeah, he hits his head. Oh my gosh. Where is the best plate? Well, we haven't stretched it yet. Yeah, I'm thinking the best place is from like... Or maybe just back it up some. Well, no, because he... Well, do still have some jumpers. Maybe going from here is fine. Okay, let's go... Okay, let's try this again. We're going to do a little... We're going to do the opposite of bridge stretching for just a second. And we're going to go ahead and... Okay, I'm going to get into here. Alright, so... Go ahead and do this. We're going to go from as far back as we possibly can. Alright, and you fall and bop. So now... Okay, when he comes back... We're going to build from like... We're going to build from like the back of the top step. It's kind of a complicated maneuver. And I'm... It, Okay, yeah, I'm thinking you're supposed to do something like that, because I had to use... Well, I didn't have to use both my jumpers to accomplish that. I just did to kind of expedite it. No, that doesn't work. Oh, my God! Ugh. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to take a second and just find the right spot. Oh, my God. Thank God. There it is. Holy cow. That's a little too precise for basic training, I think. Oh my god, and they're going through the pixel! Uh... Okay, hopefully this time it does it, your majesty. Good god, okay, so there we go. That should get it solved then. And then you build across the way. And then we've got a jumper left to allow the climber to... There we go. To get back into the... There we go. Wow, yeah, that one was... That one had a surprising amount of teeth. I was... I think you should do three builders in that level, unless it breaks it somehow. That may be the case that it breaks it somehow. So maybe that's why there's not three builders. But being as it's basic training, there should be a little room for leeway there, I think. That was... That was quite uh, nerve-wracking to have to do, actually. And I was not expecting that at all but let's move on maybe the next level is going to be a little more amenable to whatever it is we're trying to do here that little extra help 40 lemmings must say 40 we have a locked exit buttons up here um there's no entrance the lemmings must already be out and about when we begin the level most constructed or or not because I didn't see any on the minimap. Most constructive and destructive skills like platformers and bashers can be interrupted with a jumper. Just assign a jumper to the busy living. The jumper can also be used to give an extra height and width boost to a glider, of course. He will start gliding at the top of the jumper arc in this case. Let's see if you can handle this. Okay. Can you deal with that? Oh, there's the entrance right there. Good grief. I'm a goof. Okay, so what we have here looks like... Looks like they're kind of stuck in a in a bit of a rut. Uh, so we have a jumper. Okay, so looks like we're gonna wanna. Okay, we're gonna yeah we're gonna interrupt the platformer so that they don't all go off into the abyss. So at the point when he would make it over there, there we go. Okay, very good. So now they're all just kind of milling around the locked exit. Okay, I see. I get it. All right, and they wouldn't be able to glide safely from here, so we want to... All right, let's go ahead and do it like it said. There it goes. Went from the top of the arc. Now he gets a climber. He's an athlete now. Very good. What happens next? What happens next is he jumps into the wall so that... Well, does he? Uh, so if he goes there... Goes off to the side. Well, that's a bit problematic. Maybe he doesn't... 
Maybe climbing there is not the best idea, actually. Maybe we should have jumped from the top of the wall. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's jump from here. No, that doesn't that doesn't give you the height. Maybe we need to go here and do it. Hmm. How are we going to get up top there? Because when you jump onto a wall, you just stick to it. You just you just climb it. So, unless I'm missing something here. Let's let's see. Should be one guy what can go ahead and get up here somehow. What am I missing? Uh yeah, he he gets up on top of here. And then he has no way to turn around from there. So what am I... Did I do it wrong? Should he go up to here somehow? And then here? And then over here? No, because there's no way to get up to here from here. Is there a... Should I not assign him... Should I not assign him the climber just yet? There's no way for him to get over the wall if I do that, though. So what am I... What am I missing here? Okay, so go ahead and get that. But if I jump... Yeah, he just bonks into the... And there's no way he has the height to get back up here or anything. He has to climb. That would seem to be the thing that makes the sense. So what have I missed? His arc is not enough to get up to here. Okay, so let's say I go... Oh, wait. I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay, yeah. I just need him to jump off the wall when he climbs here. Okay, I... Okay, that's what I was missing. There we go. Okay, I'm a giant doofus. Okay, so... What have we got then? So we're gonna go ahead and jump again... And I think we're going to need to do the same sort of jump to... Okay, so he, that's not going to be a good enough glider arc. No. So, yeah, there we go. That's much better. Okay, then he climbs up there and he pushes the button and they're all safe. And then one more jumper off the wall to save him. Because you have to save all of the limbings in this case. Okay, okay, so well, so now it's starting to get a little bit tougher. All right, I can see All right, no whoops wrong wrong time for that. There we go after he comes off the wall. There we go So he gets in so do the rest of them and we're all happy and safe So there we go all 40 women saved very nice uh, Yeah, I'm really starting to have to add up a lot of things in my head to make it all work there there's a lot to remember with neo limics and the hardest levels are going to call on you to remember all of those things counterclockwise 22 lemmings must save them all this uh woo, i think i'm gonna go ahead i think i remember this tile set this isn't a meta tile set I'm going to go ahead and put a warning here for photosensitive people. I think there's a lot of flashing color in this tile set. So before I go and uh, enter this level, you may want to uh, opt out if bright flashing rainbow type colors uh, agitate your vision. So i um, going to give you a chance to beg off of watching this level or maybe click through and decide if you can do it. But uh, yeah, I, this is quite the garish tile set, and I uh, just trying to just trying to make sure everybody can enjoy. So give me just a second here to actually also see how much time I've been going here. All right, yeah, we're gonna make this the last level today. So here we go, counterclockwise. Twenty-two lemmings must save them all. Okay, there's not as much brightness as I thought, so. Maybe I was a little premature there, but okay. We're not being told anything this time. Okay, what we want to do, I think, to keep everybody in, looks pretty obvious. We want one lemming to go ahead. We want one to bash, and let's see. So we're going to be using our uh, jumper shimmier combo here. And to end this guy early, we want him to, okay, yeah. 
So go ahead and there we go. End him early with a basher. Okay, so now we're going to collect the glider. Very good. And we're going to use it. Okay, so if, I bet we have to do a jump to get the height we need. Yeah, because we just do it right off the thing. Okay, yeah, this is a bit of a review level. So very good. We're going to go ahead and jump and glide at the top of the arc to get him going this way. Very good. And I bet we're going to have to do likewise. It looks like, yeah. Yeah, we're going to need to do that again to get the height right here. So, and there's a little nubbin of a ledge right there. So, huh, okay. Let's see. Okay, so I bet, okay, we can't, we can't get the height that we need there. We do still have another shimmier, but I bet we're going to be needing it. I bet what we want to do here, okay, I think what we might want to do right here is use our, use our platformer. Okay, yeah, so that gives us what we, even just one little platformer tile gives us exactly what we need. And we have a climber, which I don't think this guy is, so we want to jump and shimmy. Okay, and we may want to jump to cut him off, because if he goes... If he goes all the way to the end, I bet what happens is he bonks into the wall and goes into the Technicolor water here. So, let's look at his trajectory. Oh no, he makes it successfully. Okay, he'll, he'll be fine. So, we can go ahead and make him a climber from here. So, what we want to do now is jump into the one-way field so that he climbs up the wall. Now, we got to do the same thing again. Yeah, so that he boops up onto there. And then jump across and bash. And that uses all of our tasks. All right, pretty simple level. Not too bad. I like that one as a kind of reviewer type of situation. Let's get everybody out. I think that was, every I think that last one that dropped out was everybody. So there we go. We've saved everybody. I liked that level a lot. Well, except for the tile set. It's, uh, leaves a little to be desired. It's like when... It's like when John Arbuckle wears a suit on a date. That's kind of what that tile set <laughs> uh, looks like. It's a bit of a strain on the eyes. I, I may have been a little premature in offering a photosensitive warning, but hey, better safe than sorry, right? So next time we will continue going through basic training and hopefully I will uh, screw my brain in a little tighter next time.